You've probably heard that there's a potential 32 million Latino eligible voters this year, right? But you've also heard that Latinos suck at turning up to the polls. Am I right? Well, this bothered me so much that is the reason why I became a political activist and that's exactly how Tono Latino was born. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what Latinos care about and what political campaigns need to do to get Latinos to turn up at the polls. To learn politics from a Latina that easily explains things, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every week when I upload a new video. Hola, I am Silvia Salazar, founder of Tono Latino, and my mission is to increase the Latino vote in the United States. I inform thousands of people about politics because whether you vote or not, you're still saying a lot. If you want to learn more about the Latino electorate, check out this video that I made about the power of the Latino vote. I promise you it's going to get you super energized. But let's focus on the issues that Democrats should focus on. These are the things that Latinos care about the most. And here's a simple one. Latino voters don't want to be ignored. Prior to the 2018 midterms, 55% of Latinos nationwide who were surveyed said they had not been contacted by any political campaign, not in person, not by phone, not by mail, not by email, not by text, not by smoke signals. Forget for one minute about your personal opinions of Bernie Sanders as a presidential candidate. We have to recognize that his campaign has been working since 2016 to engage the Latino community and show us that he understands our frustrations with the system. So he worked really hard to engage the Latino community, show us ways that the system can work for us and encourage us not only to head to the polls, but to get politically involved in other ways. And that's exactly why the Latino voter turnout for Bernie Sanders in the primaries was all over the news. One of his staffers, said it best after Super Tuesday. If you invest in the Latino community, they will show up for you in huge margins. Maybe a tip for Joe Biden and all future campaigns. Just thought. So comment below and tell me what is the most important issue you care about in the upcoming election. Latinos in battleground districts care about a number of other topics, but that list starts with affordable healthcare. In fact, 71% of Latino voters believe it's the federal government's responsibility to provide affordable health care. And that number goes up to 84% if we talk only about Latino Democratic voters. It shouldn't come as a surprise given that in 2018, almost 18% 18 of Latinos in this country had no health insurance. And what's even worse, is that the percentage of uninsured rose up more for Latinos than for any other race or ethnic group in 2018. But besides healthcare, a major issue for Latino voters is the economy. 65% of Latino voters see Trump's tax cuts as something that benefited the wealthy and corporation. And almost 80% of Latino voters are in favor of raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour, which should be a no-brainer, to be honest. The other topic you might have guessed is immigration. Latinos are open to many different messages regarding immigration, including a comprehensive immigration reform package. And these issues, healthcare, the economy, immigration, not being ignored, have become top of mind for us in the Latino community in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis. Because let's be honest, a huge percentage of essential workers are in the Latino community, but many of them are not eligible for the economic relief packages provided by the government. They're uninsured or underinsured, and they can't afford to go to the doctor. So help me create change for the Latino community. Register to vote 
in the link at the description below. And if you're 100% sure that you're registered to vote, you can also check out the link because it'll take you to a place where you can register to write letters to key voters in swing states. I promise you, it's super simple and something you can do in your own dining room. I want you to tell me what my next video should be. So comment below and pick between eliminating the electoral college or how the student debt affects us. Okay, mi gente linda, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell, and share it with your friends. I'll see you here next week. Un abrazo.